So, you know, for, for those listening out there that, you know, feel like they have um, a product or a service that they believe in, right, and uh, they feel like will help others, you know, just like the work you do on a daily basis, and they're they're frustrated because they, they put in all this work to make this product, and then they get shut down, right, to, to when they're trying to sell people. You know, could you think of any stories of folks that have tried to sell you something and how they've done a good job or done a bad job? I have both both stories. Well, for instance, essential oils, you know, as yogis, we use a lot of essential oils right and so people are always selling your, your essential oils I, i'll step back a little bit because what you're saying is that you know when someone has a a, a product and they want to sell it what sells anything is your passion mm. right your passion on how you how you present yourself you know so if you have a product and you believe in it versus a product that you don't believe in you know, and it could be anything. I'm not talking about just a physical product. You can be selling your CEOs, right? You can be selling me your, you know, I can do your website, your services. But if you're selling it to me where you're just, you know, generic, you know, you're sending me an email that I know automatically when I see the email that this email, you never went to my website. You said, oh, I see that your website it has a lot of, you know, it's up on this, 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 but I think I can help you even get more. Really? <laughs> <laughs> You know, like it's just generic. You, you haven't really looked at my website. You haven't done that. So that I'm not going to reach out. I'm not going to take you. I'm not going to even give you a second because I, I know it's you know, it's not real. So you know, you got to be real. You got even if you even if it's not your what you really want to do, whatever you do, it has to come 100. percent And that is what keeps me going as a business owner, you know, whatever I do, if I'm sweeping, you know, like I, as, a, as a yogi, you do service, karma linga. if I'm cleaning up a kitchen, I clean it up as if I was actually teaching a class. I do my very best. I give a hundred percent whatever I do. I don't think anything I do is, you know, is beneath me. I, you know, it's, if I'm doing it, it's because of, there's a reason for me to be doing it. Right. So um, as far as essential oils, I've been many, many people try to sell me different products. And at one point, you know, I end up really selling because I try not to sell. I try in my studio, I try not to have things that I don't believe in. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a company that was called the 21 Drops. Now they've changed their name. Um, I, I, I no longer work with them anymore, but I love their products. Um, and one of the reasons why I love their products is because of the story that was behind it. They had 21 different um, styles of um, essential oils, and they combined them. But I thought, as a business owner, I don't want to tell, try to figure out which one uh, my clients should use for what purposes. I want to teach yoga. I don't want to do. I don't want to be an essential oil teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and people get involved in them, they get wrapped up. But I was like, that's not, I don't want to do that. So this company came in and told me, well, you know what? We have 21 different um, styles of essential oil combined for purposes. So mm -hmm. if someone had a headache, we have that. If someone was stressed, we have that. If someone was trying to get some sleep, if someone was trying to focus. And in that, they had the different combination of essential oils that make that. So not only do I can say to my client easily, oh, you're having problems focusing? Try this oil. Mm -hmm. I also teach them and teach myself about what oil combination creates that focus or mm -hmm. what creates that uh, stress, you know, essential oil. So I immediately was attached to the company because they made sense. They had a, a good product. They were passionate about it. And they and they made my job easier. Mm -hmm. you know? So I'm, I'm not have to sell the idea and try to figure out how do I work these oils together in order to be able to help my client. You know, it's already done to me. Versus, you know, a client that an essential oil company says, oh, you know, you can use these and, and you can help your clients see stress. And then, well, which oil do I need besides pay and lavender, which everyone knows? That's one of my, like, you know, I, you know, I worked with them for years before they decided to change. And that's where, that, that was one of the first companies that combined essential oils to, for, for energy or, 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 like I said, sleep. After them, other companies started following suit, you know, mm -hmm. their ideas. So then they had to reorganize and change. But you know, 
that was really, you know, an essential aspect of, you know, a good business idea, being passionate about it. Everyone who I met who was working there really believed in what they were doing and they were there for you. Those are things that you're looking for when you're working, especially a small business, because I'm a small business. I'm a, I don't want to go do the work. Mm. You know, I try to run my little business. I don't have a whole huge staff. So if you're going to come to me, come, come to me with a product that's a, that's going to help me. And I don't have to try to sell it for you. You know, once you create some. It makes total sense. The combination of them, you know, the product quality, you know, also the passion. And then most importantly, I guess it comes down to, is this going to make my life easier? You don't, you're not a chemist trying to mix every essential oil. You want the cheat sheet of what's the sleep, what's the stress. And then you can look at them together and realize, oh, that's cool. With a little bit of, you know, lemongrass combined with lavender is the right, you know, uh, combination. And do you remember how you first heard about them? Was it an email they sent you or how did they, how'd you get their, how'd they get your attention? Um, they got my attention going to yoga festivals and seeing, you know, they were at one of the yoga festivals that I was at. And I, and again, there were a whole bunch of these essential oil companies and CBDs, you know. Um, and when they told me and then they showed me and they were really passionate, I was like, give me a call. And I was like, no, I'm really interested and I really love the, what you're doing here. And so, yeah, they gave me a call and they followed up and came over, met with me, and it was really, you know, it was really a good combination. Are there, are there any instances you mentioned, you know, kind of on the, the good side? Uh, what about on the bad side of the sales approach? You know, who's done a poor job and, and what what happened? Um, no, the poor jobs are really, when I, I get many emails, so many emails from people who want to create my web design, you know, design my website or um, have me hire or on ranks on the um, Google. And the only ones that I tend to reach out to is the ones who've done their, their, their homework. If mm. you reach out to me with this generic, you know, like I actually, I got one just yesterday. It says, hi, happy, you know, happy 2024. Curious to know how you currently get reviews for your studio. Asking this because you're built of tools and we bu we're building a tool that lets you automatically connect to 12 times more revenue. And so, okay, I'm a small business. I, of course I want to grow, right? But, uh, you know, the idea is like, okay, well, are you, I can, I can only grow so much, right? Yeah. I'm a one person for, you know, business here. Did you do the research? You know, ask me the question, you know, hey, what, what is it that you want to, you know, you're going to send me a generic, you know, we are, we are a CEO company that, you know, help people generate, you know, higher ranks. I would love to talk, sit down and talk to you and see where would you like to go? Would you mm. This is what we offer. Matt's coming to me with asking me the question about where do I want to go instead of telling me, oh, I think you, you know, oh, I, I saw you on your web, I saw your website and I think you can grow bigger. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, how do you know that I'm not growing? How do you know that I'm not just happy where I'm at? You're telling me automatically that you think that I need to be higher. Or I saw your website and I think you need some development. You know, like you, you, you obviously looked and found me, found me on the on on the on the website. I didn't, I didn't reach out to you. You reached out to me, but you're reaching out to me to tell me that you that I need to be seen more. It's you found me. So my was like, yeah, I don't need to deal with you. But if you come with the a different approach, like, hey, this is what I do, and I'm good at it, and I would like to help you. You know, tell me enough if you're interested. I'm always happy when someone gives me the option of saying, hey, if you're not interested, just say thank you. I'm not interested and I'll leave you alone. But, um, but you know, hey, this is what I do. And I think, you know, I would love to find out where your company is going. I saw your website. It looks great. But this is what I think I can do for you. I will, t I will give you my time. I would definitely respond to you because you're you're trying to reach me, you know, and I just throwing something out there. And I know, and I get it, you know, like you, you maybe do a hundred or two hundred of these. So if you do two hundred and you get one or two people get back to you, really. But I mean, if I get in one month thirty of these, the same email. <laughs> You know, like how many people are you really be getting for with that kind of response? You know, your sense if you actually put a little bit of soul in there, 
that makes to me more sense, you know? And then I'm like, okay, let's see how we can combine and work together. Now, then come to me and tell me how you can be better. Mm. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> That's a quote right there. I love that. And I, I love the point of, you know, the soul in it, you know, at the end of the day. And it's like insulting if you're like, well, your website sucks and I can make it better. It's like, well, um, uh, and first of all, I think your website's cool. Like it, it has like the very, you know, creative artistic feel on it and shares a lot of background on yourself, you know, where I was able to do my own homework here. So yeah, I think that that articulation is so important um, because I think there's so many sales folks out there, you know, hence this podcast that are getting yelled at by their manager of you need to hit this quota and you need to call a hundred yoga studios or whatever. And they're losing their soul and their approach. Um, and then it just backfires because then you're even more um, going to push them away, you know, and they're going to get right. even more frustrated and it's just a cycle. So uh, that's the way to break the cycles, put some soul in it. Right. Yeah. It's, it, it makes a huge difference in everything you do. You know, even as a yoga teacher, if you go and you just talk to them, so today, <laughs> you know whereas if you just put your soul and if you make a mistake oh you know like i you know i've i've been in classes and teach and yoga teachers always have that problem where we get our right and our left wrong right mm -hmm. but when we joke about it ourselves you know like you know what it's something about the right and left being a business <laughs> really and i crack up too and then you feel like you're connecting with that person they're human I love that. Makes total sense. Yeah. Human, <laughs> human to human is what, it, especially as AI eats the world, you know, it'll never replace and it'll just become even more important. <laughs> this has genuinely been so fun, um, especially, uh, you know, get to hear your story and, and hear your perspective, you know, for folks that are trying to, you know, that do believe in what they uh, offer, you know, and uh, you need to make sure to add the soul to the equation. I genuinely appreciate you making the time. Thank you for having me.